All right. Hey, baby. I'm sorry about that. I just jumped. I don't know what happened. I was on, so I had to kind of start over just a little bit. Um, thank you guys for jumping on. So I'm making a synthetic wig. Thank you, Karen, for jumping back on. I'm actually making a this synthetic wig. Um, yes, absolutely. Um, makeup works. But what I do is when I, when I send it to my customers, I don't, um, what I do is I actually prepare it for them so that they don't have to use the makeup because sometimes they, they're not going to, they're not going to want to do all of that. So, um, but that, that's a suggestion that I also give them as well. Okay. But you can also, yeah. So when I put this on here, you see what I'm saying? It'll be like, this is a side part right here. This is synthetic. Okay. It'd be like a side part. Let me show you. Just like that. And you want it to look as natural as possible. You see that? As natural as possible. Or how much do you charge or how do you know what to charge to make it? Well, really and truly, all across the board, I charge between $65 and $70 to do. 65, 65 to 75 is just to do a synthetic wig. Because I do not use my special type of wig caps. Um, only because, you know, it's just a throw-on wig. So I use, I use the straight wig caps out of the um, beauty supply store. If I'm going to do that, okay. Um, if I'm going to use a synthetic, I just use it out of the beauty supply store. But they're like 65, so you're welcome. So that's how it looks like that, just like that. That's that closure. I really like that. And once I put the skin, you know, make it look like skin or so or makeup, um, it's gonna look even better. You can also wear it in the middle if you want to. You can wear this in the middle if you wanted to, just like that, just like that. And then you can imagine once I put this on right here, all of this will lay on the side. And it's supposed to come out looking like this. Okay. So, oh yes. Makeup is absolutely amazing. <laughs> you know, especially when you're a cosmetologist and you know how to do the tricks and stuff. But when it comes to customers, you're not, you know, they're not going to do that. So you, you want to make sure you prepare your uh, wigs and things like that before time or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So they won't see it. And then... But anyway, so that's what this is the closure that I'm wearing. Listen, guys, I'm going to jump back on. She is a cosmetologist. Oh, awesome. 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 And so um, I've been doing this over 25 years. And I love cosmetology. I don't think I would ever go nowhere else. Um, I'm a licensed 21 year. Yes. Yes. I'm a licensed master cosmetologist educator. And I'm also a hair loss specialist. And so I love doing what I do. Um, thank you guys so much for the hearts. And so um, I'm going to jump back on tonight and I'm going to show you this. Now, here's the thing. I decided that I'm not going to do this wig. And when I do my synthetic wigs, this is the reason why I charge $65, $75. Because when I do my synthetic wigs, I do not use my machine. Okay. I, I hand stitch it. It's easy for me to hand stitch. And that's what, I, that's what I do. It takes a minute for me. You know, it don't take long. It takes me maybe 45 minutes. And then I'm done. You know what I'm saying? But when I do the machine, um, of course, the client wants to wear it longer. So I use that method. And then I use some other other things that I do um, to the wig. So that's basically what I do. Okay? So, I'm, hey, Portia. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump back on. What kind of machine do you use? A sewing machine? Just a regular sewing machine. Hey, boo. Just a regular sewing machine. I just use a sewing machine, and um, and it depends on your um stitching. You know what I'm saying? That you have to take extra training for that, but it depends on your stitching, and you want to make sure you don't break your needle, um, your needle, um, head, and all that. Wow, I learn something new every day. <laughs> Yeah, I love, wigs is my life, man. I love doing this stuff and um, and hair loss. I do, and especially with the clients that with, that has alopecia. Can you turn that light back on for me? Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, this is my family light. My babies are in the room. Um, yeah, I like, especially clients that have hair loss issues, alopecia. Um, we was talking about this week about traction alopecia, the different type of alopecias that are out there. Um, and um, that there is that, you know, when um, a client have alopecia, there's other alternatives. I just did a client today that had a back. I mean, when I say alopecia, um, her it was, she only had hair like right around here. And I did a certain type of technique to be able to get that hair net on and also the um, the wig or the hair on top of her head, okay? And the thing about it is, is that this client, she, she literally, she literally lost hope, okay? She started drinking. 
she started um, just crying. And every time she sits in my chair, she just cry and cry and cry. Because cosmetologists or people who don't know the right information to give people. I have a, I have a um, class that I do. I could do online class with her. So my um, email is thecustomwigs at gmail.com. If you email me, I'll send you over the information, okay? Um, but she, what I was saying was that the young lady with the alopecia literally almost gave up hope. And that's why I'm so, when I hear information, I'm not trying to, you know, be... Um, uh, mean to people but I'm just saying you have to be extra careful on some of the things you do say if you're not a cosmetologist or if you don't understand your education and what you're talking about because of the fact that I have people sit in my chair every day who cry with tears in their eyes because their hair they went to a person that was supposed to be licensed or somebody who said they were licensed they was really an apprentice and they didn't know what they was doing and just cried this lady went to drinking alcohol literally sitting in my chair and was just crying crying because somebody messed her hair up and it's bald like I can it's just bald all I'm just I'm no lie I'm just I'm not trying to make it uh yes that's not I'm not trying to be funny about it this is a serious matter okay she has hair literally right here right here and right here I had to create a canvas on her head and 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 literally do my little magic here put nets on to secure it down so it won't move or pick up and stuff and I also have a training on that that I actually do as well just to to make her leave and she doesn't even want to take it off like I tell her six to eight weeks you can only keep it on for six to eight weeks she just like I can't do this I have to keep it on my head so listen guys thank you so much for jumping on I really didn't want to go that far but um the uh, you know you had a question it just made me it just went to my heart so I just want to show you so tonight I'm gonna jump back on thank you for the love tonight I'm gonna jump back on I'm gonna show you my synthetic wigs this is just a throw on go-to wig um you know hey I got to, I have to go to the grocery store there's no reason why a, why you should look crazy Custom wigs is the best thing. But however, if you don't have, you know, to get a custom wig, get your throw wig. Get them throw wigs. You put them throw wigs in your closet. Put them back up in your bag. And you know what I'm saying? Go to the grocery store. Hey, what's the curl pattern? This is a way, a Tahitian wave. Let me see. I'm sorry. It's a Tahi it says Tahitian. But this is a deep, deep, deep wave. Yep, a Tahitian deep wave. A Tahitian deep wave. I'm on the line. A Tahitian deep wave. That's what this is. So, Rick. Hey, Rick. So, when I'm done, I'm going to jump back on, okay? Yes, this is pretty. I'm going to jump back on. And anytime you use a synthetic wigs, you have to have some sort of, um, like, solution. Like, a, maybe some a little water and a little conditioner. Especially if you when you take it off and you spray it. You spray it down and you brush it through. And you brush it through and then you let it dry for a little bit and then you put it back in your bag. So that way it won't be tangled. You know what I'm saying? And you be like throwing these synthetic wigs away. All right. So I love you guys. I'm going to jump back on later when I'm finished. All right.